Okay, Governor, uh, everyone at the round table, a lot of people say, just get it fixed. What do you, what do you think you're going to take away from traveling to Rochester, Ogilvy, and hearing all these people and what they have to say? The, the, the imperative for all of us is to get this resolved. Uh, unfortunately, it takes two sides to negotiate, two sides to come to an agreement. I've offered compromise proposals last week, I offered compromise proposals this week, and the Republican leaders have you know, dismissed them and, and not uh, given any kind of counter proposal. But I'm going to keep pressing because I understand that Minnesotans want this to get resolved. You know that there's probably a single parent at home tonight who's you know, hardly been able to put food on the table for her kids, and you're out touring the state, you guys aren't, you know, meeting, you're not discussing, what do you say to somebody like that? I'm available to meet any time. I expressed that yesterday in both in writing and verbally to the Senate Majority Leader, and uh, I have not been taken up on my offer to, to meet. So I'm, I'm you know, getting in touch with Minnesotans instead, but I'd much rather be in St. Paul. I reserved all last week. I thought we'd have intense uh, negotiations to get it resolved and uh, we've met only once so uh, I'm available I've often made compromise offers I want to get this resolved and in fact uh, you know some of our major differences are on things like providing enough of uh, uh, funding for mothers or single parents to be able to afford child care so some of the people who are affected now are, are the ones that we're actually trying to protect over the next two years. Not, I realize two weeks of hardship is, is terrible, but uh, two years of, of not having any funding at all and no prospect for the future is even worse. And, and that's, that's the big reason why we're doing this. Governor, have you talked to any of the upper income people about your uh, tax proposals? I, I've talked to a lot of wealthy people who are very willing to pay more taxes, know they can afford to pay more taxes. I've talked to others who aren't as pleased about the prospect, but you know, I know that they uh, can afford to do so. So again, when we're talking about uh, taking away time that personal care attendants can spend with their people with disabilities and, you know, story in Rochester's day of a man who was lying on his floor for 12 hours and would have been there for another 24 if uh, his personal care attendant hadn't come by, then you realize, you know, what the trade-off is between somebody who can afford to pay a few more dollars in taxes at the very top income and people who are desperate and uh, through no choice of their own. Is it going to take a revenue increase to solve those? Well, the, uh, I believe so, and I believe a, a progressive... Uh, Revenue increase is what's called for, but again, I can't get the legislature or the leaders to agree with that. So we'll have to see what the other options are. Thank you very much.